What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and as you know I purchased my Integra project about a month and a half ago and it came with this JDM K24. Now I'm going to talk about the JDM K24 in another video but as you know I've been working pretty diligently trying to get this engine bay ready to drop the motor in. Now one of the things that I did and I posted on my Instagram is that I actually painted my engine bay myself in my garage. I had a lot of you reach out asking for this video to know what what products I use, what process did I follow, and we're gonna go over that today. Now, I'm gonna put out there is I am no professional, I don't have any training in this at all, but I did go to my professional paint store and I asked them what I needed to do. So I'm gonna let you know is that you can do this too. <laughs> and I hope you like the video today. Now, when I went to the paint store and I told them my plans, I did tell them I don't have like a sprayer. And they're like, that's okay. That's quite all right. We can put your paint into an aerosol can. I was like, no way. So they actually did. And I actually got to watch them make it. It's actually really cool. And they pretty much went through the whole process with me on how I can make this work. All right, so step number one is clearly empty the engine bay. Make sure there's nothing left in there. So this is what we have so far. I've taken it down to the metal right here. That is where the ABS unit was leaking tons of brake fluid. And I wanted to take it down to the metal to make sure and get all of that brake fluid. I'm also gonna be cleaning it with a pre-paint cleaner, but just to be sure, I took it down to the metal. Also took out the engine mount right there um, to make room for the Hasport mounts for the K-Swap. Um, that was actually a lot of fun and I had never done that before and I'm excited to get these new mounts in. All right, step number two is sand, sand, sand. Sanding is important. I use 600 grit, I use a sanding block, and then I also use these blocks that were pretty much like a foam filled with the sandpaper on the outside. It's easier on your fingers and you can go a lot faster. I sanded a lot because I wanted it to be a smooth surface. I didn't want to have anything uneven. Now I did have some places where I had some brake fluid that had eaten away a lot of the paint. So I took that down to bare metal as much as I could because I know that those contaminants could still be on the engine bay and I didn't want that to react badly with the paint. Sanding, got back here to the firewall. There were tons of studs sticking out where the fuel lines and the brake lines were actually hooked up to hold to the proportioning valve. Um, so I zip those all off and I ground them down so when I paint it, it'll be all nice and smooth. Now the next step is cleaning and it's key. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say all of the steps are key, but they really are. But cleaning is really important because you could have wax or uh, like grease or grime in the engine bay, which would cause the paint or the primer not to adhere. So they told me there's like an old school trick of using Dawn dish soap and water, but I didn't wanna take that chance because it's a possibility that I might miss something. But he said if I use this cleaner that he sold me on, <laughs> that it would have no problem and it would lay perfectly. I used the cleaner and he was right. And I had enough left for other product, like projects down the road, so I'm glad I bought it. It's super simple to use. Put it in a, like, a little tub, put it on a microfiber towel, wipe down the surface, and that's it. No water, no nothing. It dries super fast and you're ready to go. Now when you paint, you don't want everything to be covered in paint. I don't, I didn't want my subframe to be covered in paint. So I actually used aluminum foil. Now a lot of people laughed at me when I did that, but quite honestly, it was killer. You can get a roll of aluminum foil for $1 at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, 
it takes about two rolls, two bucks. <laughs> and whenever you put the aluminum foil on it, it just, and you crunch it down, it just clings to everything and it's so great. So I got everything covered in plastic so I don't get any overspray on anything because I definitely don't want to overspray on the rest of the car because the paint's pretty good. Um, I did get all of the aluminum foil covering everything in the engine bay. I don't necessarily going to keep the suspension but I definitely don't want all the bolts covered in paint so I can't get them off later. So I covered everything up. Now I need to go buy a mask or a respirator so I can start priming and painting. All right, next step is primer time. Now, primer is super easy to use. It lays on very nicely. Once it dries, it is gritty. You will need to sand the primer down. Do not lay paint on top of primer that has not been sanded the paint will have like a very strange texture and it won't look very good. So you need to get some, I don't know, anywhere from 800 to 1000, I think is what I used, grit paper. And you just go over all of the surfaces until it feels nice and smooth. Now I would recommend wearing gloves when you do that because you don't want to get the oils from your fingers on top of the primer because that will just kill all of the cleaning that you just did. So I would recommend that. And I did go over the primer a little bit with the cleaner once I was done, just to be sure. But it's kind of a long process to sand it all back down again. All right, so this is the last step. It is paint time. Now, the paint that I got made at the professional paint store was a single stage paint. I did not have to do a clear. This already has a clear built into it. And honestly, for an engine bay, it looks fantastic. Now, if you were gonna do like a hood or a bumper, I would probably recommend that you do like regular paint with a clear. But with this, I did the single stage, so it's just laying it down once and it came out so nice. Now, I had to do several coats for it to really get glossy, but honestly, it only took me like five cans to do the entire engine bay. and it looks pretty darn good, so I would recommend. And I can already hear it. You're gonna say, your hood doesn't match. Why didn't you paint underneath your hood? And that's because I just bought a JDM front. And well, uh, I'm not gonna use that hood anymore. So <laughs> I'm pretty stoked about that and that's gonna be another video down the road. But before we get that on, we gotta figure out this debacle. So stay tuned for that. See you next time.